Welcome back to Captain of Industry. My name is Nilaus and I am so happy to see you again. Kind of obvious I can say that because only the people who are here will uh, be the people who uh, joined. So uh, good to see you again and thank you very much for watching the first episode and uh, supporting it. It's super amazing and I really appreciate it. I am uh, really liking this game and I want to get into it and I want to play more with it. So that is uh, why it's so great that you are also here. Look at that. The sun is coming out just as we start this episode. Well, what are we going to do today? Well, uh, there is a number of things that uh, I want to do, and there's a lot of things. And we are going to be balancing on a racer's edge between um, disaster and, uh, and, and triumph. Hopefully, we'll come out on the triumph side and not the disaster side. Because this game, as I said, oh, here we go. That's beacons. No research uh, selected. We'll get to that. This game has, um, as I've mentioned in other videos as well, has a lot of pitfalls and one of them is the fact that concrete is a finite resource and once we have used all that concrete which is necessary for all of our construction parts we don't have any more not entirely correct because we also have some cement that we can convert into concrete and that will get us going a bit as well so we need to get that but concrete requires electricity electricity requires oil and you know there's a long chain of events here the first thing we want to do is make sure that if we want to scale up we want more people coming into our factory and because of that, or in order to facilitate that, we want to build a beacon or bacon. This beacon is a lighthouse and it will just basically, ah, let's build it quickly. It will, um, it'll basically let people know that you can come here. So refugees come in and as soon as they come in, they'll be put to work. What a modern society that put re refugees to work immediately. Very good, very good indeed. Now this one requires power and we do not have power yet, so we are going to get power. But there's another thing I want to do first. At the end of last episode, we researched this trading dock, but we didn't build it. So I'm going to build it here. There, that's as close as we can make it. There, this trading dock will be trading with villagers. If we click here, we also get out to the world map. We'll cover this once we have the, the ship repaired and we can start sailing out here. But we do see this location and we will be able to trade here. The trade we'll be using a lot is this one, wood to concrete slabs. That is going to be something we're going to be doing a lot. Uh, but it's also a great way if you're running out of something, for example, rubber. You may not have the rubber yet, but you have construction parts. Then you can sort of pass it over here. Uh, also at this location, for example, food. If you're running out of food, then you can also sort of use your construction parts to trade. Also trade for more population if you're in dire need of that. We won't be doing that yet. We also need a bit of electricity. Electricity here is diesel generator that uses, uh, that burns, well, diesel. And we do want to build it out here at some point, but I don't know exactly where. So if I build it now, it's probably gonna be a bad place. So let me just random, no, there's no way I can do that. No, 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 that, that's just silly. We're gonna build it here and then accept that it has to be removed. Yeah, we'll build it here. Uh, not at all in the way. There we go. Just build it because we're going to be stealing some of this diesel and putting it in here. And that will be that. So we'll be starting to request more resources that are coming in once we actually have some power to support it. And uh, then we'll get the trading. We'll also get there. This will take quite a while for the wood to get in here. So uh, what I want to do, and we also want to make sure that the wood is no longer being imported into the coal maker because we do have a coal facility now at this point. Hey, you're running away. I also want to make sure that you are selected here. This one is driving away because it is low on fuel or diesel. So it goes all the way back to pick up diesel slowly, but it has to be done. I am kind of wondering about something here. Do we not have, nope, we don't have any trees. So harvest more trees. You go over, harvest trees. They will not be going in here. They will be going into this storage facility we have here. And then I'll be trading them off to somewhere else. We can see we have power. Now we just need someone to come in and pick up some fuel here and bring the bring it into that location. Interesting that it's low priority. Priority 11 is lower than normal priority of 10 for sort of delivering things into these locations here. This is delivering 10 into machines. I think this one is going to go in and... Uh, Get some fuel into our power plant. Pick up the fuel, drop off the fuel, and we have now the beacon operational. It'll take three months for it to get here, but that's okay. In the meantime, uh, we are going to wait for this part. This will take a lot of the wood, which unfortunately isn't really getting us uh, 
Uh, well, it's going to take a bit of time to get the wood into that location. It's priority eight, so it'll be take precedence over the construction here. And so what we what else do we want? Well, if we are going to scale up our workforce because we want to scale up some of the other stuff, what we really want to scale up is. Hmm. Yeah, we want to scale up the workforce, but why do we want to scale up the workforce? Well, we want to scale it up because we have a number of things. If we look at the recipes, what we're only making now is the construction parts, but we also need gears and electronic parts because gears and electronic parts can go into the vehicle parts and it can also go into a research facility or a vehicle facility so we can get vehicle maintenance. If we look at this location, you can see that we see that they sometimes go back and pick up some more fuel, but they also need maintenance. They're still at very high maintenance, but before it runs out, since we don't have any maintenance available, then we uh, need to build a const constant supply of maintenance. Oh, shoot, we forgot the science. Damn it, you should have reminded me about the science. Uh, let's get the diesel and then get the concrete production that's necessary. And uh, then I am going to go straight in there Get the synthetic rubber. We're not going to make that yet. We're not going to make this yet. But we want to get over here to... Oh, hold on. Remove. 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 Storage first. This loose storage is really nice to have. The storage loose products like coal and ore. So that's going to be super handy. Then we can go into copper facility and synthetic rubber. We'll cover these when we get there. More advanced construction materials and conveyor belts. We can also do ship repair at the end, but that's not something we're going to need. Right. So if we look at the maintenance, it requires gears and electronics. And funnily enough, if we looked at this recipe here, the miracle part is pretty much the same thing. So what if we built a facility such as this? This will be producing gears. This will produce electronics. And this will then be producing coming from it's the other way around no Damn. it's just about to be turned around okay they need to be recovering those that's building way too quickly now we have uh, I need to of course get it in on the inside and we'll build it here here they come from the path and then go here and then we build the vehicle maintenance depot like this and i'm just gonna make room for one more but this one will be paused because no one will build that just yet this will make exclusively gears this one will make exclusively electronics none of those are intended to be put into boxes and that is intentional and this one will make exclusive vehicle parts. Again, not putting into a box, but just having an internal storage here. The internal storage will get it up to 40. With up to 40, that means we can actually make two vehicles because they each require 20 of... Oh, this one requires 40. Damn, that's a lot. So it's just basically having one vehicle stored here. We might change that later, but right now I just wanted like a small bit here so that we can, we can produce these. And... What this means is this will start working, start requesting some iron. This will start requesting some, uh, some uh, yes, where is it? Yeah, some rubber that we don't have and copper that we don't have. We have some of these things. But the thing is, whenever we get a population increase from uh, refugees, they also bring copper, rubber, scrap, and diesel. Hooray for that. So we do have a sort of a replenishment of that. Now, this is the slow one. It's still taking a long time to get in. I'll just prioritize it. Uh, okay, yeah, I'll prioritize it so it gets in there. That's the iron part. That's more iron part. That's more iron part. Great. Now, these are already being built pretty quickly. So let's start uh, looking at the next part that I want. And that is actually increase, increasing the population because workers here, this one takes six workers, this takes four workers, this takes four workers, this takes four workers. It's a lot of workers here, and we're actually only having four remaining workers available to everything. And that's not a lot. So we're going to need to increase our worker count, and we're going to increase our storage for workers. That's called a city. And I also kind of want to have another food market um, because... 
then we can store more. I mean, this is not strictly necessary, but I just like having a bigger buffer for this. I like big buffers and I cannot lie. And what I also want, I keep pressing B for build, but that's not it. I'm pressing C for copy. I'm going to build another, another farm out here. Good. So that's the farm built. Well, it's not built, but it's getting there. And then we have over by... Uh, we don't have that yet. Okay, let me have a look at where that comes in. Ah, it's over here. Under the concrete production, we also have the water because we are going to need to make some water filtering uh, inbound here. That vehicle is coming in with 20 wood and hopefully another one's coming in with 20 wood as well soon so we can get our trading up and running. It's taken quite a while to get that trading uh, depot up and running. So now we have a bit more built. We're still uh, lacking a bit on the food market and the farm as well, but we have our trading outpost. So let's click on the trading outpost. We only have one place to trade with, but you can find more locations out here. Now this is works the way that you spend some of your unity. You spend 20 wood and then you get 20 concrete slab. Awesome. Don't have enough to trade with. Of course I don't have enough to trade with. Because uh, that is the reason why I don't have enough to trade with is, of course, because I am burning it in here as fast as I can. Uh, but there's a there was just a bit coming in here. So <laughs> obviously we're going to need it. Uh, what we can see here is we have no concrete left. So the only concrete we have is the stuff that's already stored in here. And then we can hopefully get enough wood that we can then get it in the, into this part. So try again. There we go. We got it, and what happens is that it gets immediately deducted and it gets immediately deposited here. So we now have 20 additional concrete slabs, and 20 additional concrete slabs will get us, yeah, 20 additional construction parts. Excellent. We are going to need a lot of construction parts at this point. Tutorial, health, and po pollution, and we'll cover that when we get there. Right now, it's, uh, it's like we do with all of our health issues. We just ignore them and hope they go away. That is also what we do about health and pollution in this game for the time being. We can deal with it later when we are when it gets more severe. Uh, this is getting done, so we are actually almost at a position where we have a, a, a surplus of things. What I want to do is, now we need to do two things. We need to make oil, and we need to make concrete. Now at this point, all of our concrete comes in from this side. So we can make concrete first. Uh, since it is, we can make concrete because it's not ready. So we can start making the oil production, but I don't think we should actually build all of it because it's going to use a lot of construction materials. What we can do is we can, first of all, go to the overlay here. This will display all the resources, sand in the middle. The height of the bars is how much iron here, copper, groundwater in this area, coal, and over here, silic uh, limestone, and uh, over here, more copper, more oil, and this teeny tiny thing is all we have of oil on this location. So this is where we need to place our oil. So we go into our oil production and one pump is 18 per 60 seconds. And this is consuming 50, 54. So that means three oil pumps to one distiller. Now I'm going to go into the planning tool. Where are you? Planning mode. That means things don't get built immediately because I don't want to waste all of my resources on this yet. Oh, um, that one goes here. That means they just start in this mode, uh, in pause mode. So we can design and mess around with it as we want. Here, here, and here. And then once we have built it the way we like it, we can then deconstruct it and, or we can, we can uh, enable it for construction. So what I want, three on a row going into one facility. And then I'll build the pipes pipes cannot be copy pasted only buildings can be copy pasted that's a bit of a shame but you know i can understand why because pipes can be really wonky they won't be in my build uh we're at 156 okay so now we have three outputs concrete production sweet actually this one doesn't do anything while it's here so we're going to be just putting that aside and uh, going up to this location i don't click this location for some unknown reason um, maybe I could build it somewhere else. Yeah, let's build somewhere else. We need to make some water construction plant thing. Let's make it here. And we're going to get some water and it's just 
build it. Uh, let's build it here. 20. There. And there. That might be a bit much. But I think it's uh, it's important. We also have a fluid storage, which I will build... Mm, here, perhaps. Could also be just... Nah, it could be... Uh, I'll build it on this side, because this is the side I'm going to use it on first. So, we'll build it here first. And now we do pipes from this location. And in. In. So this will... Oh, someone is still in planning mode. On pause. I was wondering why we didn't see any trucks coming in. So this will get us some of that beautiful rain getting picked up in here once that's built. It's super important to get this started because you will need it if there's a drought and these run out of water. Then you can also bring it in as long as you have the trucks set to outer. Then they will also pick up water from this location and bring it in. But only if they don't have enough. So, But we do need it for our concrete facility. So let's get this one going. Uh, as fast as possible so we can start accumulating whenever it rains now back to oil well oil 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 what do we get here well um we have three outputs of this oil we have the diesel that's the good stuff we want we have the wastewater that's the bad stuff we'll put it in the water and forget about it we have the exhaust which we'll put in the air and forget about it you kind of can see a tendency uh, i think i'm born in the wrong generation i should have been a boomer with that attitude uh what we're going to start with is we are going to start with the wastewater because we need to put it into the the water so there and i'm gonna bring it up to that location because if i bring it up too high not too high but two tiles high then vehicles can drive underneath them and we want that so get it over i guess like this and we will then take a liquid pump which will just dump it into the water and then we it's not our problem anymore. There. And we just connect it. Can be a bit finicky to connect here sometimes. There. That's connected and then drag it down. Green indicator is then connected. So that gets built. Oh, that gets built really quick. Wow. Um uh, oh yeah, we are not in planning mode anymore. Uh, what I also should do then is take this part out of planning mode. But I leave the other one in planning mode because I don't want it there. Also, do we have more? We do have 30, so let's do a trade. We want to continuously trade. If you trade too fast, then it uh, the price goes up. So we want to sort of keep trading when the price is low. And then uh, hopefully we uh, we can trade much more efficiently that way. And then we get the other output and also get it two up and in here. I technically don't need to do this, but I will. And this will go one down and be same level. Oh, that's lightning. I love that they have added lightning in the game. So just get it down. And that's a smokestack of uh, not my problem. There we go. And I'll build it from here. Directionality on pipes is important. You can see that little arrow. You can reverse the direction and they don't flow both ways, which I think is super smart thing that they did. Like instead of having like a broken fluid system like Satisfactory and Factorio, they just got like, nah, you decide which way the pumps, the water flows, and then they don't have to deal with that crap. That is so smart because Neither Factorio or Satisfactory fluid systems are good, intuitive. So this is cutting some corners and which makes it even uh, more, more pleasant for us to work with. Here and here. We built two storages. So we now have it sort of in three layers. The middle layer is the exhaust. The top layer is the waste. And the lower level is the stuff that we actually want, our diesel fuel. We have more refugees and we can get all the way up to 210. So as long as we get it up to 210, that's not a problem. What about over here? Oh, look at that. Beautiful, full of nice juicy water that we can take. This water, we can just easily get it used for whatever we want. So all we need to do now is wait for this to complete and uh, occasionally just go over here, trade some liquid. See, it went up in price. It went up in price. It went up in price again. Uh, we're in price again. There we go. 
So at this point, we just sit and wait a bit until this one is done so we can get some oil into our factory. So at this point, we have the oil production up and running or diesel production up and running. Uh, our problem is not surprisingly still the same thing that we are we are running out of the of the concrete and hopefully that will be built. There we go. We are building that. We are just missing this one. So we are 30 of those away from where we want to go. So here we have these two. That looks very nice. They will push here. So we have now diesel. That means a few, our trucks will not run out. You can also see that they will take the diesel that was stored here and try to move it somewhere else. I did keep this one fuel for ship, keep that as much as possible because it's also a great way to have sort of a contingency if if you end up using all of your fuel, then have something here that you can then uh, use that. What you just saw is a little truck coming, or a little new tree harvester coming out because I am going to actually assign this here. Uh, that is actually not a lot of the vehicles we have left. I'll build one more vehicle, two vehicles one whatever we'll build more vehicles uh, they will not vehicles will not require anything that competes not require any concrete so we should be fine with having these ones oh sorry this one continue to build vehicle parts and continue to build the vehicle parts over here so we can build some trucks not a problem uh, we don't have a lot of vehicles available for transport but that's why we built two more this one was slowly built and it's time for us to solve that massive concrete problem how are we going to solve it? Well, first thing we're going to do is just trade a bit more. Uh, we can trade one more and we can trade one more. There we go. So then we traded twice and now it's up to 61 per tile. Let's, uh, we have this diesel production. Why would you want a tutorial on diesel production when I just showed you how to do it? There we go. And copper refinement is research. We're just working away towards some of the research we'll use a bit later. And uh, this is our limestone and that will be used for our fuel production or our concrete production later on. So let's have a look at how we would make concrete. We're going to start it here with a concrete mixer that needs some cement, it needs some aggregate, and it needs some water. Technically, it also needs sand, but that's the advanced recipe that comes later. I love the fact that they actually have a correct recipe for concrete. So uh, we're going to be, uh, be doing this, and uh, we're going to use the slag crush, because slag is something we get as a residual product from our iron production here. Uh, that iron production is... Also, it has the slag and what currently we just throw it in the ocean. That seems to be a trend with our problems. We just throw things in the ocean when we have a problem with them. All right, cool. <laughs> so uh, that is, uh, that's one thing. This, uh, we are going to build it in building mode because I don't want them to come on over too early and build or, or, and do things with it. Yeah. So what I want is let's just start building it something like here. And you can see it has water inputs on one side two three and four now what is the input for this the input is cement we'll get that sort of we have some that we can convert and then we'll deal with that later it also is slag crust 1.5 slag per 60 seconds that's basically nothing and then some water we'll get that from here so how do we get that slag part we get that from a crusher and i'm going to do one two three and one, two, three. That is basically as close as you can reasonably make them to each other. So this one will make slag crushed 24 per minute. So that should be easily able to keep up with all of that. What I also want is the rotary kiln is going to be later. That takes, oh, hold on. Uh, this one, I'll make it over on the other side instead. So I'll do one, two, three, and it's already one, two, three, that's four. Four, there, I think that's good. And I'll take it out from the other side and instead get the rotary kiln over this side. I mean, if I'm mining the limestone here, let's build, let's build it on this location. And this will be, this will need to go one up. So let's give it one more space. So it's gonna be one, two, three, Four. This will now need to go one up and then into that location. This will be just going into the first locations. It'll have some coal inbound and some limestone inbound. This one we can't make just yet. What we can make is uh, this part. So as soon as we can make this, let's get it off the ground. Actually, maybe even just make, make it like this. And then we can also start working on the pipeline. That's going to be coming out of this pipeline here. 
and I will be getting it. I'll bring it two up so that vehicles can drive underneath it. That seems reasonable. And then I'm going to bring it out to... Whoa. Like that. And that's still in that build mode. Ah, oh, that's brilliant. It can actually reach in here. Gotta get that green icon and we can delete this part. So that gets water in here. And do we want to change it to which ones are? That's not gonna be linked. And uh, I'll take there. So they will, oh, these are free. Interesting. So we have now the water line. And here and here. Those are the ones that we need to craft. They're coming in. That one is coming in. And for some reason, they always prioritize the the pipe, the connections rather than the vehicles. Eight. I don't know why. It just seems to be doing that always. I want to prioritize this so we can get this going. And in the meantime, well, let's uh, trade with the village. Uh, yeah, we can trade a few times. Yep, it's the last times. I mean... For it, wood is free and cheap, and we can always find more of it, I hope. And uh, we do have, like, over there, let's see. Vehicle-wise, we have 12 owned. None of them are idle. So that's, uh, it's interesting. And here, this one will be built. Uh, I will just wait until we get this one operational, because we have lots of water here. Well, yeah, we do have lots of water, so we can get lots of water. We'll immediately flow in here. Then, as soon as it's built, then we'll get the slag crushed, which comes from that one, so that one can also get started on building. Uh, yeah, let's, let's see. And so we are ready. We saw the first delivery by truck of the water coming in. And that means we have the first concrete slabs are being slowly produced here. And that is also uh, at the very last second we can do this. Uh, interesting here is that this will also require some power. This also requires some power, but it's missing some input. That's a bit frustrating that we don't have uh, that input here. Oh, it's coming, it's coming, coming here. Yes. Well, four? Did it really only bring four? Oh, I guess that's because it's coming from over here. That's definitely it gets way better when we have uh, transport. And we are getting this part built. So we'll now have the water no longer being a problem to come in. And that doesn't really require any trucks. This is one of the th trends of this game is that you will see that gradually you just transition out of using trucks because trucks are not very effective uh, over sort of to scale up with. They're great from the beginning because they're super flexible. But if you have high quantities, you want to get them in pipes or transports. Then we have uh, this part, uh, this is somehow the slag is just not getting enough. And I suspect it might be because our we're not actually producing very much of it. Uh, it is, this one is, why is this one not working? It's stuck, it's missing, missing input. Wow, are we not getting enough uh, cop, uh, iron in here? Let me look at that. Oh, that's dirt, yeah, dirt we don't need. Uh, it's because it start digging on, on not the iron part. And this one is working. We have some slag, not a lot. We're here we have no slag because we don't have any iron. How many trucks do we have here assigned? We have one, that's why. Two trucks. Need two trucks to assign there, for sure. And we'll just happily build yet another one. That is the good part about this because we already have things stacked up so we have can keep building more trucks if we feel like it. We can also start working on another one, uh, build that here in order for us to build, uh, for example, get increase our coal production because now this one would need coal, the lime production, the oil would need coal, and of course this one would need coal. And we also need copper at some point. So, you know, we might want to build one more of those, one more of those just to uh, keep the whole thing flowing. Is this working? Yeah, it's working because we uh, don't really need a lot of these, but still. So what I want to do now is I want to slowly that's not slowly. Increase this. So we built that part. Uh, I want to not really build this part. We can build that whenever we feel like it. I also want to build this part so we get better oil. Uh, not that we really need the better oil right now. The only thing that is new that we want to add is the final thing on this one is actually to move our 
of power production to over here, I guess. This is probably better. We can make two and we can make three just, just because. And then get a transport a pipe from here. In. In. And in. Uh, these are each requiring two people to operate the diesel generator. I'll build that. So we get more stuff built. Now I feel kind of uh, confident about this. Uh, I'll do at least one of them will be prioritized. Because right now, as long as we have production of concrete slabs, I'm happy. Look at that. If we, The fact that we have 24 concrete slabs here and they are not being transported in is a really good sign. Well, it's not a good sign if they're not being transported in. I guess we're missing some uh, some transporters here. We're missing some trucks to, uh, to, to transport. And they are just consistently spreading it out evenly. Yes, they are. So let's at least mark this one for priority. So at least one of them gets get done before the rest. So uh, let's get this one done. And then we, uh, we can see the whole thing operational for this. And so we are almost done. We have all of these working. There's a lot of concrete going on here. Look at that. All four of them are operational and they are being fed by trucks that go back and forth here. And obviously this is not going to get anywhere anytime soon because we don't have the limestone. But you know, it's it's ready. It's it's getting there. And uh, I'm, I'm pretty happy about, uh, about this progress so far. Uh, we could get this one just as the last thing because it's super simple. But I don't really think this is a good... I think this is a good place to to stop because what we have now is we have a situation where we have concrete that's one of the things that you can run out of immediately uh, or and then it, you basically go into death trap we have oil over here that's uh, diesel is another one that you can easily just completely die if you don't have enough diesel uh, and we have also enough food for our population it is stuck here at 194 because i turned off the beacon so we don't get uh, overpopulation here and that means we are actually at a position where I feel that we are really pretty stable. What we uh, will do next time is uh, we will be getting into some of the more advanced stuff, even more advanced stuff. And that means probably we'll do some copper. Maybe we'll look into some rubber options. We'll definitely be fixing our ship, so our shipyard. So maybe we'll start exploring a bit with the ship as well. So it should be interesting to, uh, to see that in the next episode as well. I hope that uh, you found this uh, enjoyable and interesting to watch. If you do, you know where the like button is. And uh, of course, consider subscribing. If you've been watching all the way here and uh, not subscribed, well, you have to ask yourself why. I don't know. Maybe you just don't like subscribing. I don't care. Do it or don't. Uh, I will hopefully see you in the next episode. Until then, take care. And as always, stay effective.